So it's the new year and there's a lot of people super psyched about losing weight and that's fabulous. You should do whatever you need to do to feel good on the inside and on the outside. Where that adds, a, where a couple them creates a little bit of an extra avenue is that um, part of being a couple is really share experiences, right? So like if I'm super lazy or if I'm super overweight and I'm digging it with my spouse and we're sitting there watching Netflix and eating nachos all the time and we're both loving it and both digging the time and both happy, that shared experience of being happy is way kind of more important. I mean, doctors would probably tell you that losing the, like if you're way overweight, losing weight is probably more important. But just from a couple's perspective, lo being together and having that shared experience is like super important, right? And anything you commit your a lot of time to, when you're not doing it together as a couple, creates a bit of a divide, right? So like if I really love going to space and I decide to go to space all the time without my partner because my partner's like, I hate space, I don't want anything to do with space. Like, I'm gonna go make friends in space. I'm gonna go have maybe a relationship in space and that's gonna create a little bit of a problem with me and my partner because we are, it's gonna be very hard to keep the couple piece together when I'm off living life on Mars. Same thing goes with weight loss, right? So like if I'm really devoted every single day to losing weight, my partner's like, mm, it's their problem, I got nothing to do with it, and you're not sharing that experience together, then you really run the risk of creating a divide in the relationship, which can be really hard to come back from, right? So like if I'm um, really devoted to working out or eating healthy and my partner's like, whatever, I'm gonna just chow on these cheeseburgers, which I love cheeseburgers, but if I'm gonna chow on these cheeseburgers and pay no attention to this person over here, then what it does is it creates a divide where I feel like now I have to go find um, that partnership and that um, coach or that, that, that partner somewhere else and that's not what you want in a couple, right? Like you want your partner to be your person. So like, if your partner's not your person, your partner needs to be there with you. If they're not there with you and they're not being your person, then we need to figure out whether or not that's the right match for you or whether or not there's a way that your partner can be included. Um, even if it's just giving you the rah-rah, but doing the rah-rah every single day, going to the gym, dropping you off, or going within with you and, and giving you the big um, coaching spiel, it's an important part of staying connected as a couple. That's my tips.